Hello, I'm Amanda Jolly, a local Kansas City artist. My paintings are about the inner landscape of the mind. Many layers of encaustic paint build on each other as the subconscious is allowed a voice. Some of the layers are quite chaotic, some are geometric and orderly, yet they all build to a translatable landscape. I work intuitively, so often an image or pattern will appear that defines an emotion or thought with which I've been wrestling internally. I then expand and explore the pattern to find out more about what it has to say. Often the geometric portion of my imagery is influenced by the origami I fold. The crease patterns that are created when folding the origami often reveal themselves in lines in my paintings. The remaining imagery appears intuitively, often influenced by recent experiences. I begin with layers of encaustic medium, which is a blend of beeswax and damar resin from a tree found in the East Indies. The medium is clear, and then I build random geometric shapes on top of that with both encaustic paint and oil paint. Layer upon layer, each has a distinct voice different from the one beneath. In the end, most of these layers are concealed with hints of what lies beneath, a history speaking through the surface layers. The technique is very loose and messy, yet comes together go cohesively into a translatable form. I work quickly with little thought to the end product. I also work on several paintings at a time. The under layers can look very similar, yet the finished paintings will each have a distinct voice. As intuitively as it is created, the end of the piece is determined when it feels finished. My initial artistic expression was quite figurative. At some point, I tapped into the part of my brain that did not express definable figures, but rather seemed an inner language with its own patterns and voice, an abstraction of the subconscious. Fascinated by this inner language, I continue to paint and allow it to be my teacher. Many of the works in this grouping were influenced by a textile tour in Gujarat, India. I was deeply inspired by the color, flow, and the generational connection observed in that culture. To further ruminate on the deeper cultural implications of our time in India, the Hindu goals of human life and the tension found between those goals are expressed as the names of the larger paintings. Dharma, righteousness, moral values. Artha, prosperity, economic values. Kama, pleasure, love, psychological values. Moksha, liberation, spiritual values. And karma, action, work, or deed where the intent influences the future of the individual. The end results are abstractions of a dialogue between this meaning and the observations embedded in my subconscious.